Hello everyone, Celtic Fairy Tarot back with another pick a card reading and today we are going to be getting a message from Mother Earth. What does Mother Earth want you to know? We have pile one. We have pile two. And we have pile three. Take your time, vibe out which pile is calling to you and the timestamps are down below. Can't wait to get into it. Hello, pile one. You have chosen photo number one and black pepper in witchcraft activates the third eye and really helps to open your mind more to the unseen realms and as well to your spirit team. Black pepper also encourages emotional strength during times of hardship and will work really hard to alleviate some of the negativity, uh, whether it's within the aura or in the external environment. Black pepper is really good for that. And I also heard the phrase, get curious, get curious. Um, there's something about asking more questions. I know that when I was a child, I was the child of a, a very narcissistic mother. And anytime I would ask a question, especially if it was at a time that was inconvenient for her or if it offended her ego, um, I would be punished or I would be reprimanded for that. So you could have had experiences in life where you're asking genuine questions because you want to know the answer to them. And it is either inconvenient for someone to expose the truth or um there could be a bit of ego wounding here uh so you're discouraged about asking questions you're discouraged about getting curious about your surroundings wanting to understand things and it's kind of like i'm seeing a train and all of a sudden it's just running out of steam and it's coming to a halt like a halt but slowly and i think over time Maybe in childhood, you were incredibly curious. And over time, you've really learned to stop questioning the narrative or stop confronting situations that you don't understand. And that is what Mother Earth wants to talk about here today. Let's get more information. Okay, channeling the energy of Mother Earth. What does Pile 1 need to know right now, please? We have the Five of Wands. Okay, so you also could have been the child in class that was always asking questions and your classmates would get annoyed with you or you were always wanting to be at the top of your game learning and everyone was like, oh, look at the teacher's pet. But there's some kind of discouragement or conflict that occurs when you are curious. I'm hearing the phrase, didn't you know curiosity killed the cat? So you could have heard that plenty of times in your life as well too. But you have an an inquisitive nature about you pile one that is wondrous okay you this is like inventor type energy this is adventurer type energy trailblazer type energy you think very differently than the people around you and mother earth is encouraging you to get back into that curious mind get back into that curious nature that is going to really help motivate you moving through this world let's see what does pile one need to know right now energy of mother earth spirit of mother earth thank you oh, wow king of pentacles the king of pentacles talks about prosperity and it talks about security yeah wow um what is this visual I saw this video and it was like um, things that they teach private schooled elite children that they don't teach in the average school system. And one of the things was um, that we teach children in the average school system to wait in line and to wait their turn. But in the elite schools or the really expensive private schools, children are taught to go after what they want. They are, they are taught to be aggressive and not aggressive in the sense that 
you are stomp like stomping skulls to get there. Aggressive in the sense that you know what you want and you're going to go out and get it. And you're going to do everything in your power to, to make that happen. You're not going to wait for the phone call back after you hand in the resume. You're going to make that phone call first and ask if they've been able to have time to read it yet. And so there's this energy of like, you're, you're authentic energy being your own superhero being the one that can save you here but you have to allow yourself to embody it i don't think you are because there's fear what if i'm labeled as selfish what if i'm labeled as too much what if i'm labeled as uh mean what if i'm i'm labeled as this i feel like there's a fear to really embody this part of yourself that can really propel you out of the situation that you're in out of how you're going to be perceived that's a big message here let's see we have the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles talks about legacy and inheritance. Yeah, you're a very powerful soul. You're a very powerful soul with a lot of skill. You probably had grandparents maybe that taught some of that skill to you, but there's some kind of handed down skill from your ancestors that you have. Let's see seven of cups in reverse and the seven of cups in reverse can talk about a lack of purpose yeah i feel like that's where you're at in life right now you're kind of like where do i belong what do i belong doing and mother earth is saying look within you it's all there everything is within you we have the ace of swords in reverse the reason that you can't see it is because you're afraid to embody it it's like you know that that let's see you know that jack-in-the-box and when you spin it and spin it and spin it it opens up and then it scares your little sister and you get yelled at because you scared your little sister with a jack-in-the-box so then you just decide to hide the jack-in-the-box jack away and you know no one can ever say you scared your little sister again it's kind of that energy you were shamed for tapping into this energy whether maybe you're a really um, confident and competitive person and people who were not willing to step up against that competitive nature tore you down for having that competitive nature. Um, whatever it is for you, I just feel like there's fear to embody it. And this really can be your saving grace in this situation. Can we clarify the Seven of Cups in reverse, please? Okay. Wow, we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Mother Earth is cheering you on here. If anyone can do it, you can. Pile one. We have the Hanged Man in reverse. And the Hanged Man in reverse talks about the energy of stalling. Or it can talk about needless sacrifice. Like you're, you're, you're putting so much energy into a life that doesn't feel... It feels like you need to put continuous energy into it. Like there's never a moment where you can sit and just enjoy the life you're cultivating. It's always go, go, go. It's always keep building, keep building, keep building. And I think that this energy is here because you're operating off somebody else's uh, idea of what you should be doing, idea of what success is or what determines success, right? Yeah. We have the Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Wands can talk about a last stand. It can talk about grit. It can talk about being resilient. We have the Emperor. The Emperor can talk about fatherhood and authority. And we also have the Tower in Reverse. And the Tower in Reverse showing up here really tells me, again, this fear. This fear of not being good enough or this fear of being confrontational. This fear of being aggressive. This fear of being confident. You have all of this within you. By nature, your soul is this way. You are very confident. You are very headstrong. Um, I just think that there's a fear tapping into that because of people from your past. Maybe others who have been intimidated by you. Um, maybe others who you know, saw this, this bright light and wanted to dim it. And I think that the light being dim at this point is making it hard for you to see your own potential. It's making it hard for you to see your own capability in a way out here. Some of you could really be like leaning into spirit and saying, you know, show me the way, show me the way. And what Mother Earth is saying is the way is within you. The way is when you allow these repressed emotions and these repressed feelings to surface so that you can know what you're really working with and not what your mind is trying to tell you that you're really working with. I'll give you an example. 
you could be someone in a job and this job could be making you absolutely miserable and you continuously tell yourself every day it's the only thing that will keep you know food on my table it's the only thing that will keep food on my table but it's not it's not the only thing that will keep food on your table there are a million different ways to make an income on this planet to be able to um, sufficiently take care of you and your family but as long as we are telling ourselves that that is the only way that is the only way we are going to see so really opening up that third eye really trying to analyze the situation from within rather than externally rather than what anybody else thinks you should or or could be doing right now what do you need to be doing what do you want to be doing what is going to help propel you out of this situation and into a healthy situation into a situation where you can look at your life and feel satisfied with the hard work that you've been putting into it and not feel like you've been robbed of of something not feel like you are surrounded by this dense fog of negativity not feeling as though you're being drained by the environment around you like I just keep hearing, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Something is that bad, pile one. Your soul in here, it's it's making me hot. Like I'm I'm getting hot and sweaty. So some of you could be dealing with feeling that PTSD quite often, the hot flashes, the the you know, the panic sweat. You know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about, right? Um there's something wanting to surface in regards to how you feel about some kind of current situation. And the advice here from Mother Earth is let it flow. Let it flow, let it go. There's a need to talk about it. There's a need to let it surface in a safe and healthy way, pile one. Okay? She sees you, Mother Earth. She sees what you're going through, and she wants you to know that you can be your own knight in shining armor. You don't need anyone else to come and save you. And the unfortunate part of this paradigm, it's not really unfortunate because it does help us grow, and it does help us, again, become our own hero. It is hard. It is hard, and it is cold sometimes and we can be starving sometimes and life can just keep kind of hitting um like that cold up against the the old cabin right and the fire is dimming life can feel this way sometimes but we can also be our own hero and if we take the time to really invest in ourselves, the way that we invest in other people magic can happen pile one okay all right i'm gonna leave that here i wish you the best of luck on your journey and until next time bye hello pile two you have chosen photo number two and lychee represents love and fertility and i have a feeling that we're going to be talking about your feminine energy today and this is for both genders masculine and feminine this is just about energy it's not about gender anybody um on this planet carries both energies here human existence is is a duality and we both carry that masculine and feminine energy the feminine energy that i want to talk about here today is the self-love is the allowing yourself to receive there's something here about not taking the the love and the nurturing coming in for you that is what mother earth wants to talk about here today somebody could come to you with a compliment or a warm bowl of soup or a coffee they got for you on the way to work and you instantly feel shame for accepting this gift or feel like you have to say oh you don't have to do that you don't have to do that there's something here about pushing away um others trying to bring in this nurturing this love and this gratitude let's see if we can get more information here Yeah, like there could be some of you in romantic connection that are requiring more. Um, your standards are raising, but then out of nowhere, all of a sudden you fall back and you're like, oh no, you don't have to do that for me. You don't have to do that for me. There's a, a sort of shame attached to accepting or receiving here that, that wants to get talked about. Let's see. Okay spirit of mother earth what does pile two need to hear right now please thank you we have the nine of pentacles yeah nine of pentacles fruits of labor luxury there's there's a need to allow yourself to receive even if it feels uncomfortable uh you're not used to it is all <laughs> 
you're just not used to it. But I feel like there are so many people who want to give to you right now. Uh, maybe for some of you, it's not so many people, but there's at least one person in your life um, pile to that you could be getting this love and this nurturing from, but there's some kind of pushback. There's some kind of, no, you don't have to do that um, energy here. We also have the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups talks about new feelings and it talks about spirituality. We have the Two of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse can talk about a lesser of two evils. And we have the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse Mm, she can be a little bit bitter. She can be a little bit resentful. And so there could be something about the past. Um, maybe you were in a relationship with someone who used them doing things for you against you later. And now it makes you really uncomfortable receiving. Um, maybe you are used to people calling you a bum or calling you this or calling you that. Um, like assuming that you just consume and you don't give anything back and that is causing you to feel uncomfortable with receiving it's not the truth pile two it's not the truth people may perceive that if they don't have enough to give or people may perceive that if you live in a life uh, or you live your life in a way that they are not used to or they don't understand um, oftentimes when you suffer with mental illness and you are incapable of making the finances that other people are making this is a conclusion that most people can come to that you're just lazy or you're a bum it's not the truth pile two, but you could have heard a lot of that in life because again, there's this idea that you are unworthy of receiving. Can we clarify this two of swords in reverse, please? We have the four of swords. Yeah. The four of swords can talk about rest and restoration. This is necessary. This, this receiving love and gratitude, love heals I will tell you, love heals in ways that you could not imagine. Um, I was watching this journey of this cat <laughs> on social media, and this cat was given six months to live, and it was in rough shape, and a woman fostered this animal and took this animal in like hospice and loved this animal and praised this animal and nurtured this animal, and uh, he's still going on one year later. <laughs> A happy little camper um, in this woman's home and love like I said love can heal and it may not feel that way sometimes uh, we may have a, a serious uh, lack of love in our life at times and I think Mother Earth is actively at a point where she is trying to bring this love in for you she was trying she is trying to bring this nurturing in for you but there's there's a part of you rejecting it here um, and she wants you to really focus on that what is some advice? How can we move past this fear? That came out aggressively with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Not your problem, pile two. If somebody offers you something and you receive it and then they try to make you feel guilty for it later, um, death card on the, on the back of the deck, you don't have to feel guilty. That is your choice to feel guilty. You can say, well, you, I thought you did that out of the kindness of your heart. If you didn't, then that sucks. <laughs> and it's their problem. It's not your problem, pile two. Um, if you were to receive something from someone and later on in life, people had said that you were not worthy of whatever you received, that is their perception, their prerogative, their problem, their low vibrational energy, not yours, pile two. And I really need you to understand this because you're so worthy of this love. And Mother Earth, I can feel, I can feel the pulsating, wanting to come in for you, this love, this nurturing, this wanting to surround you and cradle you. But I think even when this energy spiritually comes in, it can overwhelm you. I have a short that talks about physical nurturing. And if you're not used to physical nurturing, um, it can really be painful to experience it. Have you ever had somebody rub your arm and try to make you feel better when you're not used to somebody rubbing your arm and making you feel better? It can literally feel like broken glass on your skin, right? And then someone's like, well, why wouldn't that make you feel better? Because I'm not used to it. It's foreign to me. I don't understand it. I'm used to my body being in pain. I'm used to my body feeling this. I'm not used to my body feeling loved and nurtured and cared for. So there's going to be this uncomfortable in-between moment where you know, you're getting this love and you're getting this nurturing, but it feels more uncomfortable than not. 
and it's okay to continue to push through that and take it slow um you know if somebody's rubbing your arm they maybe they can rub your arm for a minute and not three minutes um you know having that go longer and longer each time it occurs that way it can kind of build up your trust build up your comfort with receiving that physical nurturing from that person whether it's a family member a friend a lover whoever it is making sure you go slow and just communicating in the process i appreciate that you're doing this for me i just need you to go a little slower with me because for me it feels uncomfortable it's not that i'm unappreciative it's not that i don't want this nurturing and love i just feel uncomfortable so so communicating that to the people around you or verbalizing that could be really helpful um, because Mother Earth doesn't want to see you go without just because you're uncomfortable receiving it. Okay. One more card, please. What else does Pile 2 need to know? We have the Page of Cups in Reverse, and the Page of Cups in Reverse can talk about an immature energy. I think there is this fear, again, like, well, if I open myself up to this, and I allow this physical nurturing, and I bond with this person, what happens when they weren't taking it seriously? What happens when I get my heart broken? And this is, this is absolutely a fact of life and unfortunately we cannot control another person um but this is what i mean about going slow you do not have to open yourself up to physical nurturing to love to hugs to any of these things with people that don't make you feel comfortable doing so and that is a core rule for any moment in life okay not just coming back from having a seriously neglectful experience with physical nurturing you do not have to allow anybody to touch you that you don't want to touch you but if you notice that you're feeling comfortable with someone and then all of a sudden it's incredibly anxiety ridden and painful and you want to keep being comforted but you don't know how to this first step again is taking it slow pushing through as much as you can and then taking space and little by little building up that physical intimacy building up that physical bond with others um, and not just physical receiving as well me and my best friend kaya we have always done this thing where sometimes one of us has a lot of money <laughs> and the other one doesn't and then sometimes the other of us have a lot of money and the other one doesn't so we always pick up slack for each other in the middle and neither of us feel neglected and neither of us feel like one is receiving too much we love each other and we give each other what we need when we have it right and so i think that learning that when people love you they will want to care for you that is the most important part it's not about tit for tat it's not about immediately reciprocating energy it's about you being cared for when you need to be cared for just like you care for others when they need to be cared for okay not a tit for tat not something to feel sh shame for not something to deny yourself because you don't feel worthy you are so worthy pile two so worthy all right, I'm going to leave that here. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And until next time, bye. Hello, pile three. You have chosen photo number three and garlic for centuries. <laughs> forever around the world has been known to ward off negativity and i believe that the garlic came up here because we are going to be talking about inward negativity that could be present rather than external negativity rather than your environment or the people around you we're going to be talking about the darkness that could be harbored within right now what could be going on let's get more information the whole goal with this message is to avoid self-sabotage in some way that is the energy that i'm getting so let's let's read more into this okay Channeling the spirit of Mother Earth. What does Pile 3 need to know right now, please? Four of Swords. The Four of Swords can talk about rest and restoration. Mm, rest in the mind. Resting the mind. Don't you, don't you worry about that, I'm hearing. Don't you worry about that. 
Let's see. We have the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups can talk about contemplation and feeling disconnected. You're stuck out of a moment in time here. Something happened. This feels a, a little bit ego-driven. We'll see why in a moment, but some something here, it feels like disrespect. It feels like someone hmm, overstepped your boundaries here either in a massive way or a not so massive way, but it's triggered you massively regardless. Let's see. Spirit of Mother Earth, what does Pile 3 need to hear right now, please? We have justice. Yeah, something happened here where you're trying to decide how to act or how to respond, how to react. One more, please. Mm. Okay. And we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse can talk about a lack of resources. With the family here, it could be a family thing. Um, but it also could just be some kind of injustice. It could have to do with money um, or family. That's really what I feel here. Either money or family. But it's like you're sitting here and you're pondering, how am I going to react to this? What am I going to do about this? And Mother Earth is saying, just wait. Just wait a moment. Don't you worry about this. There's something here about trusting that karma is very real as well. But whatever happened here could be like, you know, that video you see where it's like trying to decide if I'm going to show the person the healed version of me or the hood version of me. <laughs> That's the vibe here, right? Like I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to bring back the unhealed version of me or I'm going to continue on with this healed version of me. Think about yourself in this process. Don't think about the other person. You don't have to teach this person a lesson. The universe will teach this person a lesson. Mother Earth will eventually teach this person the lesson that they need to, to know. It's You don't have to. You don't have to exert the energy to do that. You don't have to exert the mental capacity that you need to do that. It does not have to be your problem, Pile 3. Mm -hmm. Self-sabotage. Like, have you ever posted something on the internet and then you get a comment about it and you really want to comment on that comment, but you don't really want to engage with that person? I feel like that's where you're at, where you're like, I don't want to engage, but I want to engage. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to, but I want to. And you could be going back and forth about it. You could be losing sleep over it. And, you know, the, the, the all-natural mother is like, I've got this. I've got this. You don't need to take this on. Can we clarify the Four of Cups, please? Yeah. Yep, yep, I see. Okay, hold on one moment. All right, we have the Seven of Wands here. And the Seven of Wands can talk about persevering and defense. Yeah, it's like defending yourself against the unhealed version of you <laughs> is the vibe here. Like, don't stoop to their level. Don't, what is it? What is the quote? Don't wrestle in mud with pigs because you're going to get dirty and the pigs like it. <laughs> that is, that's the energy, okay? Um, we have Two of Swords in Reverse. Two of Swords in Reverse talks about a lesser of two evils. Yeah. We have the King of Wands. You are a natural born leader. The King of Wands can also talk about overcoming challenges. You can do this. You can do this in a healthy way, Pile 3. You do not have to do this in the way that you've always known how to do this because that sabotages you. Mm-hmm. It's not going to sabotage the other person because remember, we already talked about it. Pigs like rolling around in mud. They like it. They enjoy it. There are some people in the world that just love the drama. They love it. They love it. You don't have to be part of it. You don't have to teach these people um, that the path they're taking is hurting people. They will figure that out. You can walk away. You can walk away from this situation altogether. We have the Ace of Cups as well. And the Ace of Cups talks about new feelings and spirituality. Yeah. This healed version, I'm hearing this healed version of you was never meant to stay in this situation. 
was never meant to stay in this situation. If these people want to continue working on their energy, their approach to others, how they impact others, and how they impact themselves, ultimately, if they choose to be working on this, that's wonderful. But this healed version of you, it's not meant to stay in the chaos. It's it's not meant to stay in the drama and and keep just trying to survive or defend yourself, right? What is some advice moving forward, please? Mm, we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords has a clear mind. Um, she is complex. She is perceptive. Yeah. Hmm. You're being called to take emotions out of this situation. You're being called to not react emotionally here. To be really analytical. To be really observant and understanding of what the true nature of this situation is and how to solve this problem rather than dealing with each individual person's emotions about this because everyone's clashing everyone's clashing can we can we have more insight please we have the strength card in reverse oh insecurity self-doubt you know that song, I need a hero. <laughs> I'm holding on for a hero to the end of the night. Yeah, you are the hero, pile three. There could be another pile here for you as well. We have the five of pentacles. It's like everybody in this situation feels like this, but no one's talking about why. No one's talking about the root cause of anything. Everyone's just talking about their emotions and how they feel about it, but nobody's talking about the analytical part of this scenario, this situation. What continues to happen logically that creates these, these darker emotions, that creates these, these painful memories, the things that are happening? Like, what is the root of your frustration with these other people or this other person? And what is their root with you? And really getting to the bottom of that analytically so that the emotions can catch up. Yeah, it feels like whatever this is, is a whole lot of like one person saying, I feel this. And another person saying, yeah, well, I feel this. And another person saying, you know, yeah, well, I feel this. And everybody's feelings matter. But because there's no analytical base or logical base, everyone's just kind of flinging food at each other, right? Or flinging energy at each other, flinging emotions at each other, rather than really communicating about the core of this problem or this situation, communicating about where this negativity, this negative energy is actually coming from. It's actually rooted in. There could be a lot of passive aggression where it's like nobody's really talking about how they feel, but they're talking about how they feel. I don't know how to fully explain this. It's very like hidden. It's kind of like walking into a room of mirrors and you have to guess like where the other person is at because they're not going to give it willingly. They may give it in like a passive aggressive comment, but other than that, they're not going to talk about how they're feeling. They're just going to feel it. And there's no resolution in this process it's just everybody feeling how they feel all the time for years on end and never really coming to that you know conclusion or that closure or anything there needs to be a massive conversation here had mm -hmm. but again you don't have to <laughs> that's what it's going to require to bring peace to whatever this situation is it's going to require all of that everybody coming together and having a massive conversation but if that can't happen you're being advised to walk away from this. These people will figure out sooner or later what they're meant to figure out. And you can move on your way. Um, you can move on your way to this Queen of Cups energy, not even thinking about it anymore. None of the passive, passive aggression living in your head rent free anymore. Just being free of whatever this is. My emotions matter. Their emotions matter too. But if we're not going to talk about what happened, if we're not going to get to the root or find the closure, then we're going to all move on our own separate ways. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe. <laughs> but again, make sure that you're not falling back into old toxic patterns um, that you may have used in the past to deal with situations like this, okay? All right, pile three, I'm going to leave that here. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And until next time, bye.